I talk about sex to everyone. <laughs> You know, when I was younger, there was like a lot of shame around sex. My parents never had a sex talk with me. Um, we never talked about like my body, sexuality. My mom never talked to me about my period, like anything. I actually hid my period from my mom for four years after I got it. And she just thought I was like really late um, because I, I never had this like comfort about talking about my body with anyone. Um, and I didn't like have siblings around my age growing up. So for me, like my body was like a very source of like privacy and shame and then I think somewhere like once I like kind of came into myself sexually I was like I, like I started being like a sex health educator and like being more involved in that and now I really strongly believe in like talking about sex is a very open thing and like not making it a big private thing and like learning to be able to have that conversation with everyone because I think like by me being normal about it other people like can let down their barriers and it's amazing how much people do want to share and how they want to like relate to other people when there isn't that like is this person gonna judge me like do i do this weird thing like is this normal like there's so many things we just don't know if we don't talk about it so it's like i will short of the workplace <laughs> i pretty much talk about sex to everyone everywhere and i'm very open about like my own sexual experiences and like what happens i think because for me i've like gotten over that insecurity and so i want to be able to like be kind of um, someone that like and shows others that it's comfortable and safe to like, you know, express maybe something that they want to learn or that they're not sure about. So I try to make it a very like public facing thing nowadays. I think it's just like being patient, being gentle. Like I wasn't gentle with myself. I would get really angry with myself a lot around my sexuality because I did feel like a super sexual person. Um, and especially like once I tried to start expressing that, like I did get really bad feedback like trying to embrace that being in high school like I got called a slut a lot and I got like shamed by people for it so I think it's just being patient being gentle and like accepting yourself slowly not trying to like rush into being like I'm okay with this but just really accepting like wherever you're at and um you know finding people who are going to support you in your own sexual expression and not judge you for it I feel like now I can love myself a lot more because I did have so much shame around sexuality. I remember being 13 and I knew, I, I, I didn't know that I was masturbating like as a word, but I knew what I was doing it. And I remember my cat was dying and I told, I was still Christian and I told God I would stop doing that thing I do if he would like not let my cat die because I thought I was doing something shameful, like I was being punished. Like it was literally the kind of mindset I had that I was like, I'm doing something fucked up. Maybe if I trade this fucked up thing, God won't kill my cat. Like, that was, like, the kind of weird, twisted, like, way I was, like, I'm doing something so bad. No one's ever talked to me about this. And, like, now, like, growing up and learning that that is just, like, that just happens to be how I grew up. And it's not actually a reflection on who I am. I love myself a lot more because I really, like, I thought I was, like, a bad person. And I was doing something very, like, wrong. And now I'm, like, no, nope, this is normal. <laughs> this is okay. Oh, my God. You wouldn't believe the sex I have, too, by being so open about it. <laughs> we created this video series in order to create more happy, healthy conversations around sex and sexuality in the world. If you like what we're up to, check out our website, sextalktoys.com, for more videos and to get involved with the line of sex toys that we're crowdsourcing. Special thanks to Amadis T for creating a safe space here and at all their events and for giving us some really incredible tea to drink. Check them out, uh, they're really up to some good. If any of these stories particularly touched or inspired you, feel free to reach out to us to tell us about your experience or to share a story of your own. Share this video with anyone who you think might learn something from it and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a video. Thanks so much for watching.